Hey guys, new Kamir, and it's been a while since I made a video. I'm still trying to launch this new notary business and it's just taking up a lot of my time. So I, and I haven't been motivated since a lot of the stocks I own, they only jump one or 2%. So there's no big news to really report about. And then it's just kind of me talking more about value play, uh, especially this time where I feel like value play is kind of important, especially what we saw in China with the Evergrade situation and the stock market dropped off between two to 3%. I was down fifteen thousand dollars yesterday, and I posted out a tweet and uh, and as well on my YouTube community channel saying, "Hey, is this a buying opportunity?" My opinion is when you see big drops, especially September. September has historically bad month in the stock market just for the last decade. September is usually the worst month. Uh, of the stock performance, usually you see a negative or not much increase. That's what a good buying opportunity for most time. And it looks like it proved true for most of this month. September has been nothing but a bad month in terms of whole overall stock market. So what I said was, what I'm gonna do is buy in slowly if we keep seeing more and more red. So just putting a little bit more each time because we don't know when the bottom is, if there's ever a crash or when the market keeps going down, you don't know when that turn is gonna be. So you just slowly average down on your positions that you believe in. Now, today I wanna talk about uh, Quantum Scape since it's jumping huge today. Uh, I wanna show you, this is a popular stock that I talked back on my channel. Back when they were first announced before the reverse merger, I bought it around $16 a share. Now I had a lot more than five. I had, I think about a hundred share, but I sold 95 of those share off when the stock price was all time highs around $125. Uh, let's take a look if we can see this. Um, yeah, so it's 132 at its peak, right? This was back in 2020, early. I bought in around, let's say November. So in December, it reached 132 because a lot of people were on the EV hype train at the time and stocks, anything that had an EV name, it's kind of like the marijuana stocks back in 2018. It just jumped off and I saw the big marijuana crash and I started noticing this trend with EV and I was like, you know what? Better to, better to be safe and just sell after I made over like 500% on my initial position and I was okay, happy with it. And I'm glad I, I did that. I made a smart move because QuantumScape, even though it's a very interesting company, they're still several years away from actually achieving the success where they can mass produce these solid state batteries that could revolutionize the battery market. So I was like, you know what? I'm investing something that I might not see return on investment for four or five years out. So I sold it at that point. And my philosophy hasn't changed too much. It's still a very interesting company, but I wanna talk about why do we see it up over 13% today? Uh, basically, they just had the big news on their recent filings here. QuantumScape zooms higher after disclosing a company recently signed an agreement with second top 10 automotive, automotive original equipment manufacturer. However, they didn't name who of it. So we said sec, a second top 10. So it has two of the top 10s, but we don't know who it is. Uh, but it's collaborating to evaluate prototypes of its solid state battery cells. If immediate milestones are satisfactory, the OEM purchased 10 megawatts of capacity of a pre-pilot production in its line facility vehicles. So this means QuantumScape has to hit a milestone achievement in their battery tech in order for them just to buy up to this much for a pre-pilot. So it's not even, uh, they're just gonna buy a couple to see how it goes uh, with that. And the OEM has um, evaluated early cells and the immediate milestone consists of advanced prototype of QuantumScape cells expected to be delivered before quantum skate starts production in 2023. Though I see a lot of hype on it, you know, you we see this all the time. Car manufacturers, especially like let's say Tesla, Apple, um, Nikola, Lord Towns Motor, Workhorse, you see all of them say, oh, we have a big deal with this automobile maker manufacturer, this battery cell, and the stock gets pumped up. But does it really convert? So far, not really. If you look at Nikola, they had boys, uh, was it boys? I forgot who it was. Uh, something with a B as his partner. It had Republic Services. It had several other people, even GM, and it didn't do well for them. Same had Lordtown Motors, over like what, 300,000 vehicle pre-orders. 
They were all non-binding. So these are just all fluff just to pump up the company. Uh, big news, but doesn't mean anything. Now, the fact on top of that, that this company requires for them to even buy any of QuantumScape's battery, they have to reach a milestone just for a pre-pilot production by 2023. That means they have about over a year to achieve it since we're, no, about over two years, a little bit over two years to achieve it since we're still in 2021. Now, when I first made about this video, it was exciting, but I did have a lot of cautions. It's exciting that Volkswagen has 20% stake claim in the company. It's exciting that Bill Gates is interested in this company. It's exciting that they have so many different people on their board and other partners. So one of them, uh, uh, is a part of the Tesla board, I believe, and then he's helping uh, QuantumScape as well. And the thing is, a lot of companies tried to do uh, solid state batteries and they have failed. Sandy Monroe even talked about this, how he asked some question about a woman claiming she had it and she said, I need to grab something from my car. She never came back to that meeting. And uh, remember when, um, what's his name, Fisker? Henrik Fisker went on Fox Business and says, we have solid state batteries and it is here and it's, we, it's coming right now. Well, that was a lie. They stole that technology from QuantumScape and that they couldn't do it. So they decided to pivot on his fourth failed business to become Fisker. Uh, Fisker and they haven't produced cars yet, but you know, they're partnered with Magna and people are excited and say, oh yeah, you gotta trust Foxconn and Magna. You know, they do Mercedes, all this, yeah, but I don't trust the CEO of Fisker. Not saying I don't trust QuantumScape. In fact, I'm very bullish on QuantumScape, the CEO and the whole management team. They're probably the best company in the world right now as has the furthest um, technology in solid state battery. The only concern I have is by the time quant uh, solid state batteries ha comes out and it's ready, which I think is about 2025, I'm not bullish thinking it's 2023 since technology is very hard to achieve, um, is that Will lithium ion already catch up to it, to it where, or even surpass solid state where it's no longer feasible to even have solid state batteries? Because we just saw Lucid got an EPA rating of 500 miles of range, which is great for Lucid. Now the hardest part is actually doing mass scale production. So it's gonna be a slow ramp up, but uh, I, I have faith in them. I just think it's gonna take a lot longer than people expect. A lot of bullish investors out there, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for Fisker. I'm not Fisker for Lucid. I actually have nothing against the company. I actually uh, like the company a lot, but I sold out of that company just due to a lot of things going against them because I just saw Rivian struggle so much. I saw Tesla struggle so much. I saw so many, remember when Lord Towns Motor CEO, the former CEO said, we're gonna start delivering Rivian, um, what was it? Endurance truck in September? No, no. Now Rivian has made its first automobile production and they put it on Twitter and a lot of people were excited. It was a good milestone, even though a lot of people point out, look at all these panel gaps. So they're suffering what te Tesla's currently suffered near in this early production. Uh, not, uh, back then was notorious for panel gaps. Now it looks like Rivian is suffering from panel gaps issues and it's something that's gonna take the, um, a while to correct. Uh, they had a lot of panel gaps issue based on that just Twitter image of one side of that vehicle. So we're gonna see Lucid struggle, same thing as Rivian did, similar to what Tesla did and probably what Neos did. So I just want you guys be cautioned about buying into QuantumScape, these technologies that are unproven and are years out and they have a lot of competitors. Though they're the best chance to succeed, but will it be too late by then? And usually when you see a huge run up like this, investors who are hedge funds or big companies who sees a big stock run up and they're like, you know what? It's probably a good time to exit from our position. After the run up, you see the next day they sell. And that's when you see the stock goes down. Not saying it will happen, but that's my anticipation that I'm gonna see a big pull pullback the following day of QuantumScape. I might be right, I might be wrong, but that's just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Personally, I'm just gonna hold my five shares just in case they miraculously do it and then my shares might be worth thousands of dollars one day. But I already made enough profit of over 500% when I first bought in at 16 bucks and sold around 125. I'm happy with my initial investment, but overall I just see that lithium ions getting a lot better. Tesla, uh, 4680 cells are coming out. Lucid's doing 500 miles. So 
we'll see if it's there. So I appreciate the thumbs up and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.